Hi! Someone sent me a question about one of the videos that we had done on YouTube. And their question was, could I take a design from my sewing machine, a built-in design, and bring it into software? So I thought I would address that and kind of give you guys the steps to make that happen because it can be done. So this is a Ruby and I'm going to show you on this one, but it would work the same um, on any of our modern machines. So these are my built-in designs and I'm gonna just pick one. Here's some cute little flowers. Small design fits in an 80 by 80 hoop, but wouldn't it be nice if the flowers were different colors? Well, I can make that happen. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna pick my USB device, and I'm gonna change the name. So we're just gonna call it flowers, and hit okay. Successfully saved to my USB device. I'm just gonna change out of embroidery and into sewing and pull my thumb drive out. And we're gonna bring it over here to our computer. And I'm gonna put that in there. And we are going to open that device. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna open my software first. Okay, and I'm gonna use a blank canvas. And I'm gonna pick that little hoop that I had, but I could really put it in anything. So there's that 80 hoop that we know is the perfect size for this design. And we're gonna come over to insert right up there. So because that was the last thing I did, it opens up my thumb drive. If I was in my cloud last, it would have gone to my cloud or the file that says my, if I had been in my designs, it would have opened that. But USB was the last thing I did. There's our cute little flower design. So we're gonna select it and we're gonna come down to open. Although I could just double click it and the same thing would happen. Here's my cute little design. So now we've been successful already because we've taken our design, a built-in design off the machine, put it on a thumb drive and brought it into software. But wait, there's more. Now I'm going to edit that design. By clicking edit design, I'm opening up the stitch editor module of the software. I can make that big and like I said, I think this design would be fabulous if they were different colors. So within this module, we have that little slide bar we've talked about so many times before. And if I take that and I drag it backwards, you're gonna see my design start to disappear. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to I have almost just the one design. So here goes that second one is almost gone. So now instead of using the slide bar here, I'm gonna come over to these little numbers here. This one on the left indicates the starting point. This one on the right indicates the ending point or where we are in the design. So as I play with those, watch the number, and as I drag that slide bar to the right, you'll see the number increase. And as I go back, it decreases. So if I look at the design here, you can see just the beginning of that second flower. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the little up and down buttons here, and I can go one stitch at a time undo, 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 undo. Now that bit is gone. So all I have here is the tie off for that first flower. I'm gonna come up here to modify. So the modify is up here. And I'm gonna insert a color command, click. 
So now I'm going to come back to where that other flower started and I'm just going to click and it's going to open up my color menu. So now I can select a color. We're just going to pick this pretty little purple color, but I could use this uh, selection up here. I could pick something else. I can slide all the way through and kind of audition colors until I found one that I liked, but we'll start with this and we'll hit OK. So now if we look at the bar on the bottom, everything beyond that point, everything beyond that color change is purple. So now I can bring this starting button all the way up to where that second flower starts. It shows nothing. Both cursors are together. So now we're going to take that second cursor and we're going to slide it to the right. And if we look at the screen, we're going to see that the second flower is going to start. And we're going to drag it and drag it and drag it until that flower is complete. And ooh, that third flower just started right there. So again, I'm going to come back to these up and down buttons. And I'm going to back up, back up. But I want to be able to see that that stitch has disappeared. I'm going to put it back. See, this is the first stitch of the third flower. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to back up until that disappears. It's gone. I'm going to bring my cursor here where that disappeared. And I'm going to click that spot. And it's going to open up that color selector. And I'm going to pick another color. So we're going to go with the orange. Not my favorite, but it'll be fine for this demonstration. So now, if we look here where that ending part was, now we have orange. And if I go to this little button over here, that's going to show draw all stitches. So as I back up and I click that, there are all three of my little flowers and they're all different colors. So now what have we learned? We've learned that we can take the design, we can take it off the machine and I can manipulate it. I can add stops. I can change the size. I could add lettering. Then from here, I can export that back onto a thumb drive or put it in my cloud and stitch it out. So there's the answer to our question. Even the, uh, the designs that are built into our machine are available for us to make our own. And aren't we lucky to have software? So I guess that's it. Um, please give our, our video a thumbs up, follow us, and let us know what you'd like to learn. All right, that's it. Keep stitching.